Unlike most of our core friends, we don't usually take snapshots of our restaurant meals, but here in Japan, every meal and indeed the variety of food was so different that we found the camera being used a lot. We stayed a couple of days in Matsumoto, which has a number of historical buildings. On the first morning, a few hours were spent walking up and down the streets, snapping away at anything that looked old. A typhoon hit the area the next day, but that didn't stop my girlfriend from venturing out to have ramen. We spent an evening at the Shin Maiyoshi restaurant. A friendly waitress advised us on the many horse dishes that were on the menu, and a most enjoyable meal was ordered at a reasonable price. Tokyo is Japan's capital. It was once just a small castle town known as Edo. In 1603, Edo became Japan's political centre. This fish market is one of the world's largest, handling over 2,000 tonnes of marine products each day. The sight of many scooters, trucks, sellers and buyers hurrying around make the fish market a major tourist attraction. It's a busy place with something to observe wherever you looked. It's also a work area and you have to be aware of your surroundings. We spent much of our visit watching the activities as all kinds of fresh seafood were being prepared for sale. There was so much going on in this area, it was quite a while before we found our way to the outer market, which consists of a few blocks of small retail shops and restaurants. When a restaurant receives glowing reports on the internet, it's a good bet that everybody wants to experience it for themselves. We weren't prepared to line up, so before leaving we treated ourselves to a fresh sushi meal at one of the other restaurants. The many meals that were served to us during our holiday were varied, including eel, fish and horse meat. Some were raw, while others were cooked. All enjoyable. During our holiday we visited all types of restaurants, this one had plenty of atmosphere. Behind the outer gate is a shopping street which has a history dating back several centuries. Along the street there are many stores where you can find vendors making and selling traditional local snacks that are well known in the Asakusa area.
Hesekusa's main attraction is a very popular Buddhist temple built in the 7th century. Any video that deals with Japan has to include some kind of automation and watching this machine produce biscuits was interesting. Watching this skilled vendor also making biscuits but by hand was fascinating. This ice cream shop was so popular that the patrons had to be ushered around the corner because we were blocking the front of the shop. We noticed green tea flavoured ice cream was very popular. This covered shopping arcade runs perpendicular to the other street. We had spent most of the morning in the area and it was now time to find somewhere to eat. After checking out some of the restaurant windows, we settled on a sushi train restaurant. The food is carried by conveyor belt to the patrons that sit at the counter. This seating arrangement also gives you the opportunity to watch the dishes being prepared. There's a large selection of food to choose from, not just sushi. Plates with different colours and patterns have different prices. The bill is calculated by counting the number of plates that are stacked beside the customer when they're ready to leave. The smile on our faces was so typical of how we felt when we left most restaurants that we visited. At the majority of these establishments, staff have been helpful in translating what was on the menu and giving us advice on dishes and portions.